Hey guys, welcome to the CC. My name's David, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can clean your Nintendo Switch console as well as your Joy Cons. So, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your console is on sleep mode or off. Then, we're gonna go ahead and just take off the Joy Cons. So what I like to do is start with the Joy-Cons, since those are typically, you know, the things that you're touching the most. So I'd like to get those clean faster, or clean first, I should say. So all we're gonna need today is just very simple. You're just gonna need a microfiber cloth and some alcohol and a spray bottle. So I'll start with the right Joy-Con first. So I like to start from the back and then just spray it. Then go ahead and just wipe it down. To get any of that alcohol off. So now that side's clean. Now we can focus more on the front. So what I'm gonna do is take my microfiber cloth and just put it on my finger like this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it. So now it's on my cloth, not on the Joy-Con, but on the cloth instead. So what we can do is just go over the Joy-Con and go over any of the crevices and anything else that we didn't touch the first time. So we go ahead, doesn't matter where you start, just make sure you get in between here. I know over time the oils in your skin uh, take away the paint texture and it gets smooth. That's just an unfortunate thing about the texture that they used on the Switch. But keeping it clean helps. Slow it down, you know. Make sure you get the triggers. And also here too. Let's see, I have some dirt here actually. So go ahead and clean that up. It's gone now. From here. Makes sense since these are where the contact points for the Switch console are. So now this Joy-Con here is clean. Next, I'll be doing the same thing onto this Joy-Con, but I'll speed it up for you guys so you don't have to watch the whole entire thing in real time. Okay, so now this Joy-Con is done. So now both our Joy-Cons are done. Now, you might have questions about Joy-Con Drift, and what I would say is, well, it's very difficult to get rid of Joy-Con Drift since it goes underneath the layer here, but um, I know some people take apart their Joy-Cons and then get alcohol and a Q-tip and clean the contact, or sometimes they're able to just clean it from here instead. Um, I don't have Joy-Con Drift on my Joy-Cons currently because my Switch console is only about a it's only about a month old actually, but I did have Joy-Con Drift on my old Switch console, but what I did was I just contacted Nintendo and put in a ticket. I had another set of Joy-Cons, so I didn't have to worry about not having my Joy-Cons for a while, and they replaced the Joy-Cons for me for free, but it did take about a week. So if you're looking to get your Joy-Cons repaired by Nintendo, I'm pretty sure you can get it done for free, but you're gonna have to wait unfortunately. So next, we can go ahead and start on our console itself. So starting on the console, I flipped it over so that we can start on the back. So what I'll do is I'll spray the back of the console with the alcohol. Next, we can just go ahead and start wiping it down. This will help get off any of the oils that we had in our skin and we transferred onto the casing. Already it's looking way better, you see that? No more oils. And then also you can go deeper into the crevices, like here. This is where the Nintendo Switch docks into its dock. And then also the intake. This is where the air goes into the, the fan for the console. And also on the edges, like the bottom and the sides. Just go ahead and go use the part that was wet on your pad or your microfiber. The contacts here, and also the top of the console, too. Just 
clean this side too. Now, if my console was older and I used it more outside, I would be cleaning also the grill that's on top here. This is the outlet for all of the hot air from the inside of the console. But since my console is only about a year old, I don't really have any dust buildup, so it should be fine. Now, if you have an older console that's been like a year or so, then yeah, I would definitely clean it. So finally, I'm gonna go ahead and clean our screen here. I have a tempered glass screen protector on my Switch, so it's no problem about, you know, just rubbing it. You might wanna be more careful if you just have no screen protector, because I do know that the Switch screens are very, I don't know how to describe it. It's very like plastic feeling and it, I feel like it'd be easy to scratch. That's why I always recommend using a glass screen protector on these switches, or even just a regular screen protector. Anything to protect the screen, especially since you're going to be playing with it portably and docking it. I know sometimes people get scratches just putting it in the dock, so having a screen protector helps to prevent that. Also, um, I actually made a cover for my Switch dock that's clear on the outside, but it has cloth on the inside, so it protects it even when I put it in, and I can still see what's on my dock, since I have a special edition switch. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made that, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I'll maybe make a video on it. So almost done here with the screen. Just getting any more of that haze off of it. And there we go. Switch screen is now clean. So you can go ahead, reattach your Joy-Cons, done so i hope this video helped you guys out if it did please drop a like down below and also tell me what was your favorite part of it did you get anything helpful from this let me know in the comments thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video